Tonight's bedtime story is called The Boy Who Saved His Family. Once there was a boy named Joseph. He was one of 13 children. Their father was Jacob. Their family had lived in the land of Canaan ever since their great-grandfather, Abraham. Jacob owned many animals. His children took care of the sheep and goats. Jacob loved Joseph best of all his sons. He gave him a long coat with long sleeves, then showed that Joseph was to be the leader. The boy was very proud of his coat. His brothers could see that their father loved Joseph more than any of them, and they hated Joseph because of this. Once, Joseph told his brothers, I dreamed that we were tying bundles of wheat. Your bundles bowed down to mine. This made the brothers angry. Another time, Joseph told them, I dreamed that the sun and moon and 11 stars bowed down to me. Do you think we will bow down to you? The brothers laughed. One day, Joseph was looking for his brothers. Let's kill the dreamer, they said, when they saw him coming. No, said the oldest brother, let's put him in this deep hole. So they took away his new coat and put him in the deep hole. Just then, some man, men rode by. Would you like to buy a boy? The brothers called out. You could sell him in Egypt. Yes, we will buy him, said the men. The brothers put goat's blood on Joseph's coat. When Jacob saw the coat, he cried, a wild wheat beast has killed my boy. And he was very sad. On his way to Egypt, Joseph cried, will I ever see my father again? Why did my brothers do this to me? Then Joseph thought, God can make bad things turn out good. Joseph wasn't so afraid anymore. In Egypt, Joseph was sold to a rich man. He had to work without pay, but his master liked his work and God was with him. One night, the king, hang on, I skipped a page, I think. Nope, okay. One night, the king of Egypt sent for all his wise men. He said, I dreamed that I saw seven fat cows and seven thin cows. The thin cows ate up the fat ones. Then I saw seven good ears of wheat and seven bad ears of wheat. The bad ears ate up the good ones. What does this mean? But none of the wise men knew. Then one of his servants said, Joseph knows the meaning of dreams. The king sent for him at once. Joseph was a grown man now. Joseph explained the dreams. O oh, king, for seven years much food will grow, and for seven years nothing will. Store up food in the good years, and then there will be food for the bad years. You are very wise, the king told Joseph. Take care of things for me. The king gave Joseph new clothes and the king's ring and carriage. Soon, the seven good years came. Everything grew so that Joseph had to have new barns built to store the wheat. Then came the bad years, but people could buy food from Joseph. So Joseph's big brothers came too. They bowed way down before him. They did not know he was Joseph, but he knew them. You are spies, he said. Oh no, sir, they cried. We have come only to buy food for our family. No, you are spies, Joseph said. Put them in jail, he ordered. After three days, the brothers were taken back to Joseph. Now we are paying for we, what we did to Joseph, they whispered, afraid. Joseph heard what they said, and he felt sorry for them. I am Joseph, your brother, he cried. I am not angry with you anymore. God brought me to Egypt to save us all from hunger. The brothers were so happy. They had long been sorry for what they had done to Joseph. They went to get the whole family. And how happy Jacob was. Lord, he cried, you are taking such good care of us. God said, I shall go with you to Egypt. Someday I will bring your family back and give them this land. Jacob and his children moved to Egypt. Joseph cried for joy when he saw his father. The family got sacks of flour and good grass land for their animals, and God was with them. But one day they would return home.
the end. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.